Here we continue our assault on Washington DC. Wait, that makes it sound like I'm attacking Washington. I mean defending it, that's what I really mean. Don't, don't be confused, I'm not the bad guy suddenly. It's not like some sort of last minute twist in this, in this game. Don't worry, I'm gonna still defend the world with the likes of Tommy Lee Jones' eyebrows and David Duchovny in a bear suit. Duchovny. Well, fr suit. Frankly, he hasn't done very much in this battle, you know, he's just kind of, in this one, he's kind of like holding back, you know, he's in, I think the notoriety has gone to his head, because I've given him like a theme song and everything now, Pro he's probably just, maybe the coach is like, we gotta keep him around, because the people lo love him so much, you know. Take him out. Oh, that's not that's not good. Is there anybody else I can get to him in time? Ugh, that's not good. Can can you do like a hail mary? No. All right. Ooh. Well, just hold off on you for now, rocket tank. Ah, David the Covenant University, maybe you can prove yourself useful, useful in this match here. N nope, maybe, pr I guess not. David the Covenant, in a bear suit, not able to do anything. Maybe it's like the real David the Covenant is just like drinking in the bear suit. Actually, that's very presumptuous of me. I don't know if, if David the Covenant has a drinking problem. I don't think that's even... Anything associated with him. I just besmirched, besmirched Dave Duchovny's good name. For no reason. What is this, the internet? Where you can just say whatever you want? Well, the answer is yes. This is the internet. Surprise, people. I'm not actually there playing the game on your computer. I'm, 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 you're watching a video. Because I know you're just so enraptured by this video of this... Uh, State-of-the-art video game. It's so lifelike, you know, and you're just confused by the lifelikeness of it all. And you're like, am I playing this video game? No, it's, it's actually me. So if you were indeed uh, fooled by the lifelikeness of this all, why don't uh, I just kind of blew up a person's body right there? Yeah. Well, that's a, that, that means you can kind of save on the funeral costs, probably, a little bit. Okay. Well, that, was, that got dark. That got dark even for me. Like, I'm not... I'm kind of a happy-go-lucky guy. I just, like, made the fun of... Anyways. Let's not get caught up in that. All right. Who? Ah, there we go. Civilians killed by aliens. There's three of them. There's six... Eight. Well, we saved two-thirds of Washington. All nine people in Washington. Oh, wait, we, we, we co recovered the live alien? I don't even recall that. He must have just been knocked out. That's okay by me. We need, you need to capture live aliens so you can interrogate them, you know? Oh, that wasn't even Washington at all. Oh, gee. I confuse Tokyo for Washington. Ugh, this is what I get for not playing this game in like a week. I bet I bet that's a common complaint from Tokyo too. Like I, you know, they're always confusing us for Washington. It's like we're, it's not even the same country, you know. I and I I'm sorry to perpetuate that stereotype that you that Tokyo looks exactly like Washington. That's not. It's not a very common stereotype, I will admit, but uh, nonetheless, Rico likes to be inclusive of all peoples. Oop. Not enough special materials to produce power suit. What? Uh, that's not. Why? Not? Why not? Why can't I make the power suits? I don't have enough of the alien alloys. Oh no. Got enough of the Illyrium. 
but not enough of the alloys. Well, I could make some alloys. Now, let's not get crazy. We can, like, get this for free from, like, the, the aliens. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that part. We're just gonna put everybody on laser rifle duty. You know, I'll be pretty good. Uh, what, what do we got here? Um, are the people back? Are they, are they back? Yes, I think they got it back. All right. How much? How many? How much of the armors do we do we have? I got three more. Oh, I just took off her armor. Here, I'm upgrading your power suit. Who else gets a power suit? Okay. Shant Gibbons, you got a power suit. Well. Actually, I got, I'm going to try to mix up this crew a little bit there. I'm going to just really reevaluate re for the next time. Or maybe I can just wait. Took my colonel out there. Who would have thought that Marie Curie, not only is she awesome with the science, but she's also an awesome soldier fighting the aliens. Okay, well, well, we'll just go along for right now. We'll we'll see in a little bit who my away team. Once I, once I have a battle to fight, you know. Not enough money to produce a laser rifle. They, we're having production issues, you know. This is this is very unfortunate. Um, laser rifles. We'll get we're, we're getting down to just what we need. So that everybody can have one. Oh, we can sell some of this stuff too. Heavy plasma. Keep on rolling around. Eventually, I'll start researching all of this stuff. You know, but not for, not right now. Small launcher. Alien grenade. I don't need this many. I I don't. I'm not a big fan of grenades. You know I. I, I was, I'm not very good at throwing, like, baseballs myself, and so, like, I'm kind of scared of them in general, so. That makes no sense, really. Because, frankly, I've been shooting guns, and I don't shoot guns in real life. No, I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky guy. I don't shoot things, so. Okay. Also, you'd need a really small gun if you're going to give it to a puppet, like myself, you know. Okay. Ooh. We can go look at our pancake house. We got our thing there. So what we're gonna do? Maybe I should get the purchase and recruit. Oh wait, I shouldn't recruit anything. I need to wait till I have my. Oh, my stores are here. Good. Purchase and recruit. Let's get a interceptor. Now we'll buy one, and uh, we will add some. Ooh, what's your Avalanche launcher? Let's go with an avalanche. Get some of these in there. That'll be pretty good. Oh, I should also make sure I give him a cannon. Gotta have a cannon on there. There we go. So soon, the pancake house will be ready to deliver pancakes and pain. Wait, I got the house of pain over here. No, I think the other place will just be pancakes. I think that's what we'll do. That'll be pretty good. Production of living quarters at Pancake House. Ooh. That means I can start hiring some more people. So, ooh, I gotta, I gotta figure out what, how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna... We got ten people to defend the base. That's all you really need, frankly, to defend the base. Because this is not going to be a major place. You know, this is this is just where they have pancakes. But you want to defend the pancakes. But you don't want to spend too many resources defending the pancakes. You know, you want to make it welcoming. And if everybody just got like guns and everything, it's like ah, this is a little bit too much. You know. Ah, uh, let's see. Quick craft. Interception craft.
Oh, right, the, the ship is not there yet. Okay, I see what's happening now. I gotcha. Ooh, a large one. I don't like it when they're large, because it's they're too big. They're too big for me right now. I need better weapons. Yes. Just keep an eye at them. Like, suspiciously look at them at a distance. And then, like, try to, like, give a, an intimidating growl. You're like, maybe... Ooh, it would be like Tommy Lee Jones' eyebrows. Oh, we lost track of him. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. We've got a lot of people here. And they're not going to be, frankly, doing very much. Uh, they're they're going to be over on the other place. What I think I might do is, you know, we might go through the soldiers and, like, try to figure out who would be, like, better to keep over. You know, you got to look at the stats, you know? Like, reactions. This is, this... This is, tells you how how quickly they react. If they have a high react, they may be able to get a shot off even when it's the alien's turn. That's that's a handy thing to have. We've got a lot of time units. We gotta do like a draft or whatever. Send them to the big leagues. Should go over here and take a look at these soldiers and send the ones that are like not so great with their, their stats and send them over. Okay, 60, that's not bad. Uh, see, that's not good to have low bravery, which is kind of weird if it's Tommy Lee Jones' eyebrows. He's got th those are going to be the most fearless eyebrows you can possibly imagine. Hmm. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, this might be a, a little bit boring to just watch on a video to, to show who's going to go where. So I'm just going to do that really quick, and then I'll come back, and then we'll we'll get back, and I'll I'll show you who I sent over. And all this kind of thing. So, uh, I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, everyone. I just finished uh, doing the transfer. Sending the soldiers that I do not want anymore over to the Pancake House. And I've recruited the ones that are a little bit better stats. And I sent them to the House of Pain. Now, technically, they're in transfer right now. They're in the, in, in the skies. So it's going to take a little bit. I can't show you uh, why I chose the individuals right now. But uh, we'll, we'll get to that as soon as, as, as we're able, you know. Let's see here. How come it's not showing me the, the names of the towns anymore? Oh. Huh? All right. Just speed it along here. Ah, here we go. So first of all, we're going to uh, take a look at uh, who we've transferred into the Pancake House. These are the people that didn't cut it. Frankly, uh, John McClain, he didn't, his problem is he has, uh, although he has good bravery, this is good, not fantastic on the time units, not enough of those, and his accuracy is really low, which is kind of too bad. You know, he, he, he really is too old for all of this. He truly is an analog hero in a digital age. You know, Abe Vigoda, pretty clear. I mean, aside from his age and the ability to barely walk, uh, not very accurate. Okay, that's not good to have. Karen Carpenter, she has a lovely singing voice, and I would like to preserve that. But she has very low bravery, and once again, not good, not very accurate. Uh, Steve Austin, I, he's not stone cold. Steve Austin, like he's not tough. He's just, he's just cold, and I think it's affecting his stats here because no accuracy. You know, he's he's all bravado, but no accuracy. You know, and uh, Edward Norton, uh, same same kind of thing. He's not brave. No accuracy. It's all the way down. Sad saxophone player. Now he has something to be sad about, frankly. And then these people were the ones that got hired to the base, but I just decided to keep them there. And I know some people are going to be upset that I sent John McClane in particular, uh, and and perhaps even still uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, but he's not. Remember, this is just Cold Steve Austin. He's just cold. 
And so he'll hopefully be able to warm up here at the Pancake House, and uh, that'll, that'll be better for him. But, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. But at least he gets to retire as a sergeant. Um, but I just realized... Uh, I... Oh, I should arm my jet as well here. Get that on there. Okay. Um. Oh no. I don't know if I can get that armor off of these people. Hopefully there's nothing too major. Personal armor. Personal armor. And of course the red shirts had none. Well that's fine. Okay, I just lost some personal armors. That's okay. I can be fine with that. Meanwhile, over here, where uh, I'll introduce to you the new soldiers that you can look forward to in future adventures. Uh, let's see. Who, who's new? Um, oh, uh, here they are down here. Joan Rivers. Uh, famous comedian. I don't know. Uh, she, she's what you want. She's not very brave, although that's true. Accuracy is a little bit better. And uh, good time units, you know. And remember, these are rookies, so they can build all of these up over time. Uh, Dom de Louise, not very fast, not a lot of time units, which makes sense. But look at that accuracy. That's crazy for, like, a guy who's just starting out. Now, Ray Liotta, he, he barely got in here. Uh, but he's got decent... Uh, he can... This can hopefully go up. His bravery is high. His time, frankly, he barely made the cut. I'll be honest. Sabrina the teen Teenage Witch, although I didn't have space, so it had to be Sabrina, comma, Teen Witch, which seems like if it was like a modern update of the show, that would be very applicable. Uh, man Who Likes Dubstep. Th this is one of the suggestions uh, that I got from people uh, to, for, to name some heroes. So I kind of like this one. You know, he'll be hopefully in the zone, you know. And he'll, and he'll be right in the groove. Frankly, I have a feeling dubstep would like kind of make you a, a worse soldier, just like people who like dubstep are worse people. That's right, I just said a hard opinion on this, on this <laughs> inconsequential video game video. But, uh, Spongebob square pant. Uh, I, I couldn't afford the S, so he's just SpongeBob SquarePant. All right, and and that's that's our new folks. However, that's the end of our video this time. Uh, we will uh, continue on and wait, and we will uh, hopefully continue on our crusade against the aliens. We're at the end of the month here. We'll see how we've been doing. Uh, join us next time on Let's Play XCOM with Rico the Puppet. See you.